Namaste. This is for all the salespeople from across different industries. In fact, I believe that it's, it's useful for everybody from, from all walks of life. The story goes that uh, there was a salesperson who would come home and every day he would come home with, with a bag full of work. He's married, he's got a small son, five and a half, six years of age. And a typical scene in the evening would be that there is this father uh, whom uh, uh, the child wants to play with, but the father is busy with, with loads of work. So one evening, this little darling comes and says to his father, Dad, can we play? And the salesperson, as usual, is busy. He says, can, we come, can you come after some time? I'm, I'm packed with work. The child goes and again after some time he comes and he says, Dad, can we play now? The salesperson is a bit irritated, a bit upset that why is he being disturbed time and again. So again he tells the child to come after some time. And uh, the child, the perseverant he, which he is, he comes back again after some time and he says, Dad, can we now play? This salesperson is annoyed to his limits. He looks around as to what to do and suddenly his eyes, they, 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 they see a newspaper which has a print of a world map. And a brilliant idea struck him. So he takes that newspaper, uh, which has the map of the world, and he tears that paper into small pieces. And he gives it to the child and says, uh, Son, can you fix the world map for me? And uh, it's, it's kind of a puzzle. You solve the puzzle. And after half an hour, I'm sure we will have time and I'll finish my work and we'll play. The child says, okay. And he takes that, those pieces of paper and he goes. And the salesperson is relaxed. He is, he's thinking that now for the next half an hour, 45 minutes, he is free to do his work. No sooner had he got involved one again in his work, the child comes and says, Dad, there it is, it's ready. And uh, the salesperson goes to see on, the, on one corner of the room, on the floor is the map of the world. He is amazed that how a child could do that. And he says, son, how did you do that? The son says, it was very easy, father, because the map which you gave to me, right behind that map was the image of a man. So I got the image of the man right and I got the world, I got the world right. The story says a lot of things to us. I think one of the most important things is, as a salesperson, if you're on the field, before you can ever think of getting the prospect convinced, before you can ever think of, of, of sharing something useful with the prospect, the first thing you have to keep in mind is, am I right? Because your world is the prospect. With your world, you cannot have your way if you're not right. So there are three aspects which you have to remember as a salesperson. Am I my physical best? Am I physically right? Am I mentally right? Am I emotionally right? So today let me focus on the physical aspect. I'm not saying you have to have a physically well-built body. If that happens, it's, it's fantastic because a salesperson has to have a lot of stamina. But along with you being physically fit as a salesperson, see so you have to understand you are into a very challenging profession. When I say challenging means, you know, since you are into sales, you know how challenging it is. For a salesperson, you have to have loads of stamina. So make sure you're physically fit. Second part of the physical aspect is the way you dress. And I've seen these people, the kind of clothes they wear, the kind of uh, uh, dressing sense they have. Sometimes the, the, the shirts which they wear, it's, it's kind of, you know, the belly is saying, let me lose. The buttons of the shirt are saying, have mercy on us. They're being pulled apart. The shirt is coming from out from behind and the tie is going somewhere and they're perspiring, they have body odor. Please, for God's sake, before you actually open your mouth, before you knock on the door, before you think of going and meeting an, a prospect, please ensure you're physically presentable. This is such an important aspect, a very basic aspect, but yet so very ignored. So all salespeople, get this physical self right from your side and then only your world will be right. And the world of yours is the world of prospects. So invest some time, invest some energy, invest some money onto making yourself look a lot more presentable. See, in the entire uh, levels of sales, the sales process, we are talking about getting the order, closing the order, negotiating, presenting our product, opening the call. In all these orders, the lowest order, the lowest level is we looking presentable. If you can't master this, if you can't handle this, then forget about going up to the higher levels. So you will never get a second chance to make the first impression. Am I right? So let this first impression from your side, the way you look physically, the way you look um, uh, through your appearance, let this first impression be the best as a salesperson. And I'm sure you will move on to the second round faster and better. So here are a few questions for you.
have you ever gone uh, uh, to watch a movie and while watching a movie you you laughed have you ever gone and and watched a movie and while watching or during the movie you cried i bet out of 1001 the answer would have been a yes we all have felt those emotions so what do you think is the cause for all those emotions do you think they would have put something in the seat to make us cry or to make us laugh or do you think you saw something you was something you heard something and as that thing went into your mind you felt those emotions i'm sure the answer was the second part that we saw we we see we hear we feel and that's how we get into emotions so if a movie can have an impact on us i'm sure everything which we are doing around in living living with in the world is having an impact on us so there are five things i'll share with you which will make you emotionally and mentally very upright as a sales person there are many things but in this video let's focus on these five the first is before you go for a sales presentation ensure that this mind of yours is sorted it's decluttered your mind should not be like a city gully traffic you know it should be like a highway where the cars are zooming in in full speed many times a sales person has a lot of things here so he has some unfinished jobs he has some challenges he had some he has some communication issues with some colleague in the office ensure everything is sorted ensure you sort it on a daily basis so go with a clean slate because that world of yours the prospects world of yours will demand the best from you and only a decluttered only a highway car can actually win that race so ensure that this mind of yours is decluttered the windows are closed second ensure that uh, uh, what you read what you see what you watch is making sense to your life so before you see a, a something on the net before you spend some time on reading a book before you spend some time on uh, uh, watching something on on tv ask yourself is what i'm watching going to make me a better person family wise business wise personal life wise it's going to make me a better person if not then i should refrain from watching it third thing see if you can learn something new every day it can be even a word it can be something about your profession it can be something about your relationship it can be something about your your process the sales process it can be something about communication it can be something about leadership even the smallest of things is is good enough for you but ensure that there is something new happening in your life on the knowledge side there's a direct correlation between how much we know and how we feel about ourselves our confidence has a direct correlation with our knowledge the third part be very careful about the kind of people you meet we keep a rose in our hands for 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 a couple of minutes and those two minutes will leave the fragrance of the rose in our hands same is the kind of impact we have of people around us so choose your company wisely a sales person has to be full of energy full of liveliness so ensure that the people around you are the ones who can actually make you build you inspire you and the fifth one the last one is sales people travel a lot so either they are traveling across cities or they are traveling within the city make sure your travel time is your energizing time so have something to read have something to to listen to have something to watch nowadays uh, data is, is is so freely available ensure that before you enter your prospects uh, office place you are so energized you're so much charged up that you are able to handle the toughest and the most powerful of, of, of objections which a prospect can put across to you but that depends on what you have prepared yourself with before you went into that office so you use your travel time your travel time should become the biggest university of your life so take care of these five things that i'm sure you will be mentally and emotionally right before you make your world right all the best namaste